Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and I am in the standard doage. Or dwudge, or whatever the heck that thing is. Um, what it is, is a relatively fast melee tape dom with maneuver armor and a giant heat tomahawk, which, double-bladed heat axe, it is vicious, and you just have to land the shot, which is the tr uh, tricky part. Uh, I'd fought these folks a couple of times before, which is how I knew the Sfreet Noct would be here. And managed to get one of the two hits, but he's got a uh, Ganeos uh, backing him up, so now I've got to deal with that. But I believe I've got some teammates kind of backing me up too. Doesn't matter too much because I'm out of legs, but I can provide a little damage here and there. And I was hoping that the uh, travel on downswing would uh, do something, but didn't get a chance to do it, so I just went for that and then followed up with the uh, big swing, which got me uh, killed, but st uh, I was going to die anyway, and I did 5,300 damage with type disadvantage on the way out, so that's not terrible. And I'm pretty sure that was a Gunner Gundam that made that shot, and great shot, because that those two were, you know, nicely softened up by me and some other folks, but hey, any, any two-kill shots are just great. I, I love the Gunner Gundam. I hope I hope we get more beam weapons with piercing like that. That could be fun. But, yeah, it looks to be a Blue Destiny 2, which I am working on trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, whittle down with the rest of the team. Luckily, I did not knock down Arganeos because uh, he was in the middle of his tackle and vulnerability. But now, looking to see what I can do to help that guy up on the ridge, if anything. I'm just... Time to get out the, out of here, which, if the enemy team's coordinated, can be a trick. But I'm kind of thinking that they've revamped Maneuver Armor just a little bit, because there used to be a little bit of a build-up uh, back when I first used it on the uh, on the uh, Jim Striker. And it seems like the invulnerability kicks in a little faster than it used to. So boosting, you know, a little bit of boosting to... Uh, Keep yourself from getting stunned is a much more viable option than it used to be. Uh, until you run out of boost like I just did. Missed that guy. So it's time to take cover until my bazooka reloads. It's a relatively quick reload. Um, so what the doage has all in all is a bazooka, a dom-style bazooka. It's a slightly different model, so you can't use it on other, mo on other doms. Um, might be one other that can use it, I'm not sure. But uh, it's got that, it's, uh, it's got a uh, heat sword with three swings, it's got the tomahawk with one swing, and it does have the blinder. I'm just, uh, it, it's hard for me to uh, line up for that flash sometimes. Eh, 1300, that's not bad. I did actually hit them with the flash from that distance. I'm never quite sure of the exact range of the thing, because it's just a little temperamental for, uh, for me. Let's see, missed that Gelgoog, and right now just trying to uh, find a good uh, place to attack from where I don't get hit by everything. Well, I'm kind of mumbly to get it today. It is not, it's not a good brain day is all I can say. Slept very poorly, but that's life. And again, just looking, finding an opening on this map is very difficult with, uh, against a coordinated team. That's, that is a heck of a choke point, and just getting towards it is no good. I think I pulled back here and decided to try and go up top to deal with the Efreet Noct because there are, there are, like I said, there are no openings down there. By the time I get up there, I'm pretty sure the Noct is dead. Yep. So, instead I just decided to, well, for one thing, I, I'm almost out of legs, so I decided to take some pot shots from up here. Probably should have moved down on that one person up on the uh, ridge, I pr but, of course, when I land, I'm going to get stunned, so I, uh, well, staggered. So there's not a lot of point in leaping down and trying to, uh, you know, Batman someone to death there. But, yeah, hence the problem. Luckily, I was up on the rock where I was hard to hit. However, here, I am just in the middle of everything, and it's just by sheer idiot luck that nobody is aiming at me. Now it's time to pull back. There's a person up on that uh, hill, which is a great target for me, which is why they pulled away. But came back, and I tagged them. And just boosted away in the hopes of keeping my legs. Also, there's a bomb back there, and I'm trying desperately to get back through here so I can go after the person who said it, because if I can do that, we've got this, probably. So, yeah, actually, it was the Efreet Noct, and 
This is probably the only time I perf uh, correctly performed the doge combo in the entire round. But it was kind of an important one because I do have time to get over there and to defuse the bomb. So, this is the thing with planting a bomb. If you don't stay to defend it, you have a problem. And so, you know, sometimes it can help to, uh, it can help to plant bombs in, in pairs if you have to. It's a difficult thing. It, it's very situational. But running away and leaving the bomb totally undefended is not good. If he'd hung around here and tried to fight, for one thing, he, I might not have been able to catch him by surprise like I did. And if, I, if he uh, had stayed down in the bay, I would have had a much lower chance of actually doing anything to him. So, like just setting the bomb and wandering off with more than like 30 seconds left, very bad idea. Just remember, it takes 10 seconds to defuse the bomb, so if you're, uh, if, if the timer is at higher than 10 seconds, you need to put a little thought into where you need to be relative to the, uh, the bomb if you've planted it. So, probably if I ever end up posting any rounds where I do plant the bomb, you'll find me crouching uh, very close to it, ready to uh, kill somebody off when they come after it. Let's see, saw the Ifrit knocked uh, thing again. The jamming, just looking around to see where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like right up ahead. It's very hard to say. Might be up on the hill. As it is, I stun that Gelgug and somebody else managed to take advantage, which is great. And now I'm using my maneuver armor to get close to the Aos. And stun, and it managed to avoid my downswing, and something flashed me. I'm not sure what, but I managed to flash, and screwed up my uh, Tomahawk downswing there because... It's the same problem I have with any downswing on Dom type. I start breaking and or pulling myself back when I'm trying to uh, when I'm trying to uh, actually uh, attack, and it kills my momentum and my attack is off. This is a problem I've always had with Dom types, and I am not getting much better with it. Let's see, Noct is nearby somewhere, probably on the other side of the ridge there or right there. Hey, and time to up. Oh. Just trying to... And I I didn't even go forward that time like I'm supposed to. Sent the sorry tell, waiting on the knock. 30 seconds left. And just kind of... Yep. Managed to... Uh, managed to at least keep him busy while he got himself killed, even though I was hoping to make the kill. I think I... Did I use the flash? Did I exchange a, a stuns with him? Which, you know, if so, that worked out great, so... But yeah, I'm not great with the doage. Again, I still have uh, dom control issues. It's just not, does never feels natural to me. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to see where I can be of some help without exposing myself to danger, because we're not going to lose, but why die this late in? So yeah, made it. And yeah, only died once or twice, and pretty good round. Again, for me and the doage, that's a pretty great round. And I think I accomplished some worthwhile things. So, yeah, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Oh, hey, yeah, I got the Alex Hyper Bazooka this round. I forgot.